Hi, this is Sunil Manji at Elastic, Senior Principal Solutions Architect. Today I'll be discussing in this short video on how to use AutoGrok or automatically create a Grok pattern. Generally, when ingesting data and processing data within Elastic, there's a rich set of integrations. The user doesn't have to do much to leverage them. But once in a while, we'll hit a pattern or an integration which doesn't exist and we have to process the data or parse the data using Grok. Oftentimes we go to the repos and there's a rich set of predetermined Grok patterns based on log files. You can leverage that. But sometimes you'll run into a challenge where the Grok pattern has to be built from scratch. Therefore, instead of creating from scratch, why not use one of the ML models or ML jobs to output a Grok pattern for a particular field in your source. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to ingest some data, and then I'm going to run an ML job, which is called a categories job. And then the output of that will say, this is the Grok pattern for this field. And then I can use this anywhere. I can use this in the ingest pipelines. I can use some log stash, many different places. But you didn't have to start from scratch. This provided you a Grok pattern based on an ML capability. So let's get started. To begin with, I'm going to use some data. I'm going to try the sample data that comes out of the box here. So sample data, use other sample data sets. And the one that I want the Grok pattern for is a web log. So I'm going to click on add data here. So now the data has been ingested. I want to take a look at it real quick. I'm going to look at this in Discover. I'm going to expand. And as you can see, the message field has a unstructured uh, input here. And I want a Grok pattern for this input. So here you have a couple of choices. One, you can build your Grok pattern from scratch. You can head over to Logstash Patterns here, and here's all the interesting Grok patterns. And you can build your, build your own from scratch. No challenges there. However, I'm a little lazy, and I want an ML job to output and tell me exactly what the Grok pattern is. Think of it like an accelerator. So to do this, I head over to the hamburger menu on top, and I click on machine learning. Now you do need to have the ML nodes enabled. And here, it, uh, for this instance, I'm using the Elastic Service, uh, Elastic Search Service, which is hosted in the cloud. So let's create a job. And I'm going to create a Kibana. I'm going to use the Kibana sample data logs here. That's where the data sources, or I should say index. It's in the web logs index. So next thing I'll create is the, uh, or go to the categorization job, excuse me. That's one I want to build. And now I can select the entire data set here, or I can use just a small time range. So that's what I'll do here. I'll just select the, uh, the 14th, and I'll go to the 15th. And well, I'll start with the 14th. And I'll end with the 15th. Don't need to use the entire data set. You could if you want. No, no worries. And uh, I'm, I'm going to stick with count, and I'll select the message field here. Because that's where the unstructured payload is, or within that field. And I need to want the graph pattern for this, right, for that field. So I'll click Next. I'm going to create a... Uh, a name for this job called Autogrok. My good friend Michael Hillebrandt uh, called it Autogrok, so he's the one that guided me towards this capability, so I'll name it Autogrok. Create a job description, whatever you like here. I'm just going to move on. It's not very important to get the output of Autogrok. Click Next, and I'm going to uh, click on Create Jobs. Or create Job, excuse me. So the job ran completed and the result set is available. So next thing I do is I want to take a look at the API. You can definitely go into the jobs in Anomaly Explorer and take a look at all the interesting uh, outputs of the job itself. However, I'm very much interested in just the Grok pattern. I'm going to head over to DevTools. 
and I'm going to first take a look at the jobs that are that are in my anomaly detector and you can see here that the job autograph is there then I'm going to say hey um, give me the results of this of this job so I'll call the API anomaly detectors autograph and run it and voila there's the graph pattern pretty darn cool here's the examples and the output so now I can use this in Logstash, in my ingest pipelines, many different places, right? But again, and I'll test this out. Uh, there may be times when it's not perfect or 100%, but I didn't have to start from scratch, which was key for me. So just to summarize what we do today, we had a challenge where generally most of the log sources that you'll see in the field, they'll be covered within one of the integrations that Elastic provides. But once in a while, you'll hit something that it doesn't, and we need to grok the uh, the log parse the log and traditionally we had to start from scratch or go to the github page for log stash patterns here we're using machine learning to kind of do the hard work for us and output a graph pattern which then we can leverage within our pipelines our ingest pipelines or within log stash wherever you like hope that helped and thanks for listening